approaching very quickly. The next couple of days, reuse, reduce, and recycle the mantra of Earth Day. We want to think of reuse. We had a scholarship project in the last couple of weeks, and we have our winners to announce. Give us a little bit about uh, the background of that scholarship and what folks had to do to win. Olivia Crooks from New Lexington High School, she received first place. Um, it was a real close scoring with all the students. We had seven from all four schools that joined us in the, the project this year. But the students who participated, they're challenged to find an elder. It's usually a grandparent or a great grandparent, but a neighbor can work as well. Someone who lived back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s who can share with them some insight, which we feel is very valuable on how life was back in those days, during the Depression, during, during those times when things were really hard to come by. And we think that's such a good lesson for all of us to be reminded about. So we keep working with this project from one year to the next. Um, and we have so much really awesome financial support. I can't pay for this scholarship through my, my funds, so I have to go out and beg for the money. And we had 13 different organizations participate and submit. They sent us checks um, because everything was so virtual this year. So we're very grateful to all, the, all of them for that, that support, continued support. Grace, or er, Olivia, for first place, she's getting $2,000 for scholarship. Graceland Frame, Olivia, I said, is from New Lex. Graceland Frame is a Crooksville High School student. She got second, and she's going to receive $2,000. And Allison Boffman came in on a close third, and she's going to get $400. All this money, I, these girls are applying for other scholarships. I know they're going to receive a lot of help to get them through their classes and help pay for their schooling. And I commend each and every one of these students for what they've done. So kind of hoping the girls can share a little bit with you from here on out. And let's start off with Olivia, first place winner. Olivia, who did you interview and what was kind of the thing that really stuck with you when you interviewed that person? I interviewed my great grandmother, Dee Williamson. And um, the thing that really stuck with me is that when they would pass shoes from siblings to siblings. They would stuff cotton balls in the toes just to make sure they would fit. And if they didn't fit, they would make them fit. And could you imagine doing that with, say, your siblings or anyone else you knew today? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> and Graceland, second place, congratulations. Uh, what was kind of the one thing that stuck with you when you interviewed your person? The person that I interviewed was my great-grandmother, Ruthann. And the thing that really stuck with me is that they took old bead sacks and they would turn them into dresses and different types of curtains. And you couldn't see yourself wearing something like that today, right? Abs no, no way. And Allison, our third place winner, congratulations. And uh, who was your person and what kind of stuck with you when you interviewed them? Um, so I interviewed my grandfather. I interviewed Mike Walkman. Um, and what kind of stuck with me was that my whole conceptions about recycling back then was kind of completely different. I didn't think anybody really recycled and it turns out because of the war effort, because of the depression and everything, people recycled everything from tin cans and even toothpaste bottles to um, turn them into bullets for the war. So that kind of was really interesting to me and I didn't think anything of it when I initially went into it. And Katrina, a lot of great stuff once again this year. A lot of folks uh, applied again for the scholarships this year. Hopefully a lot more potential scholarship invitees for next year, right? Yes, and the neat thing about this project, it's in partnership with the Perry County District Library, the Digital Shoebox Memories Project. So for the last seven years, every student and every elder that they interviewed and recorded the conversation will forever be archived in the Digital Shoebox Memories Project. You can access all these stories anytime from anywhere in the world. All you have to type in is the search word reuse. Reuse, folks. That's what it's all about. And as far as scholarship opportunities, what are folks kind of thinking as far as applying for the scholarship for next year? Go to our website. You'll find a contact to me 
Katrina Carpenter, the education specialist, and I can fill you in. Um, we still have the, the old information for this year's project, but we'll update that. We'll be sharing all three of these young ladies and the elder grandparents that they talk to. We'll have their picture and their recording on our website as well. So people can kind of quickly go there and learn the lessons from these three students right off the bat. And so lessons it, hopefully everyone will take to heart at a couple of days. Yep, my hope is to have it all together before Thursday so people can see that on the website. All right, well, thank you ladies very much. Congratulations.